Greetings and welcome to today's lesson. In today's lesson, we are continuing with our spelling words. So let's go ahead and do that, okay? The first word is the word size. Like, what is the size of something, okay? Size, base word size. S-I-Z-E, size, okay? And here we're gonna use an S to make the S and a Z to make the Z. Okay, write the word, write the word size. S-I-Z-E, size. Go. Markings. S I once z once e once. Okay. The next word is to do exercise. Now, exercise size is not the base word for exercise, and it's going to be spelled completely differently. Okay. So exercise, exercise base word exercise. X er size. Okay. X X er size. Okay, let's do sounds. X. S, uh, let's do it again. X er size. Okay, and it's completely different from the from the uh, from the word size. Here we're using a C to make the S sound, and we're using an S to make the Z sound. So realize that exercise is completely different from the word size. Okay. Let's write it X er size. All right, markings. X. Now I'm going to do the rules underneath here. Rule 20. Er once. S. Rule 2. I once. Z once with a 2 on top. E once. Okay, so here X can never be followed by S or Z, rule 20. And the C says S because it's followed by an I. Okay, and you can see that these are totally different. So don't get confused and think that exercise comes from the base word size, right? But we are going to brace those two because they help us understand how to spell each other. Okay, all right, the next word is, uh, next word is grammar. Okay, so grammar has to do with like nouns and verbs and adjectives and how do we write sentences and things like that. Okay, grammar, base word grammar, gram mar. Hear that last syllable, gram mar, g r a m m r. Okay, grammar. No, so we sometimes are lazy when we pronounce it. We say grammar, -er, but the pronunciation should be grammar, grammar. Okay, all right. Go ahead and write it, gram. Mar. Markings. G -r -a -m, rule 29. M R once. Okay, and we put this M here. We don't hear it grammar. Right? We don't hear that M, but we put it there, otherwise it'd be Graymar. We don't want that A to be at the end of the syllable. Alright, the next word is the word Indian. Alright? So here Indian, uh, this can refer to Sometimes you'll hear Native Americans referred to as Indians, and that is because Christopher Columbus got confused, and he thought when he landed in North America, he had landed in India, and people from the country of India are called Indians, okay? Um, but here's is the word Indian, okay? And we will capitalize it because it is a proper noun. Indian, base word Indian. Um, syllables, in, di, an. I, n, the I, an, Indian, okay? All right, write it, in, capitalizing it, di, an. Markings, I, n, the, oops, sorry, I, rule 26, n, the, I, an, okay? We capitalize it because it's a proper noun. It's referring to a specific people, um, and so we can capitalize it, just like we would capitalize American or Chinese or German, okay? You capitalize it um, because it's referring to a specific people, okay? All right, the next word is the word, um, and this has a new, a new um, phonogram, okay? So um, let's go to, to in our books, and we are going to go to page 
8. Okay, so page 8. All right, page eight. Okay, so we've already done one of these. All right, we're gonna do a new phonogram. Okay. All right, so our new phonogram is the O-U-R phonogram. Okay, and it makes an er sound, like in the word journey. So, jur, ne. Okay. So, ja, er, once, n, i, once. I was making a third sound. Okay. So, here, the O U R phonogram is another one that makes the er sound. We don't use it a whole lot, so that's why we don't um, memorize it. Um, but it is a phonogram, okay? It makes the er sound. All right, now let's turn, um, so that was on page eight, okay? All right, let's turn back to the middle section of our book, and we're gonna write the word journey, okay? Here we go, journey, base word journey, jur ne, j, uh, j, er, N I. Okay, journey. Write it. Jur ne. Markings. J er once. N I once three. Alright, now the next word is gonna use that same phonogram, and it is a journal. So a journey is like if you go on a long trip, right? If you go explore different places, you're going on a journey. Now, when you go on a journey, you oftentimes want to write about that journey. And when you write about it, it's called a journal. Journal. Okay. Here we go. Journal. Base word journal. Jur now. J er, our new phonogram. N a o. Journal. Okay. So write journal. Jur now. All right. Markings. J er once. N a u journal. Now, when you go on a journey, right, you might come across many dangers. You need to have lots of courage. And so you need to have courage. And courage is gonna have that same phonogram. Okay? Courage. Base word courage. K er a j e courage. Okay? So we're using that same um er, the o u r er, okay? And we're using a C to make K, right? right courage. Cur age. Markings. K, er, once. A, once. J, ja, once. E, once. Courage. All right? And so that is a new phonogram that you'll need to memorize for those words. All right? Um, next word is the word. Uh, the next word is the word, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so I need three words. Okay, so the next word is the word laid, right? Now, to lay, uh, if you laid something down, it means that you already have, you're going to lay something down, and when you've done it, you've already laid it, okay? So, here we have laid. Base word lay, L-A-Y, and I'm going to add a duh. Now, this is what we call an irregular ending. Right, we are not adding ed. We're just going to add a d onto the end. It's irregular, okay? But we don't want to have the a y in the middle, so we're going to change the a to an i and then add the duh, okay? So it's irregular, so we're just going to do laid like that, okay? But just know it comes from the base word lay, but we're changing the um, the y to an i and adding a duh, and it's irregular, okay? Laid, laid, base word laid, l a duh. Laid. We're using the AI phonogram. Okay. Laid. All right. Markings. L A once. Duh. 
right? So another example of this is the word pay, to paid, okay? We don't add ed, we're just gonna have the word pay. We're gonna add a d, but we're gonna change that y to an i, okay? So we have paid, p a, da, paid, okay? Write it, paid, p a, da. Okay, these are irregular because they don't follow the rule of adding ed. P a once, da, paid, all right? And the last one is the word said. Again, now said comes from the word say, but we added d onto it. We're gonna change the y to an i, and now we're gonna have an ai phonogram. But it's not gonna say what it's supposed to say. It's not gonna say an a, like the other, we don't say said. We say said, right? And so it's saying a sound that it shouldn't say, but it follows kind of the rule that laid and paid have created for themselves, even though it doesn't say what you would think it would. Okay, so write said, s, e, da. And we're using the AI phonogram. Okay, write it. S, e, da. Markings, s, e, twice, da, said, right? And it's again saying something we're not expecting it to say. All right, brace those three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. That is the end of our words for today. I hope you have a great time on your independent work. I hope you have a terrific day, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.